Today we're going to talk about a piece of equipment used with computers called a modem. M-O-D-E-M. -E now I'll be honest, I've been looking forward to talk about this for a while because modems, which stands for modulator, demodular, this is a piece of equipment that goes back to my early years when I was in the Navy and worked on electronic equipment. Now here's what a modular demodulator or a modem is all about. It's a way to take information from one device, in this case we're talking about a computer, and send it through some sort of transmission medium, be it the air as a radio wave or a wire as an electronic signal, to send it through that medium, have it arrive at another device, again, we're talking about a computer here, and have that computer be able to understand it. Now that in itself is not a really complex concept or a revolutionary one. We have talked many times about connecting computers together, be able to exchange information. It's the way it's done that bears some investigation. And it'll help explain why it's called a modulator, demodulator. Now here's what modulate means in this specific instance. It means to take a stable, known signal, an exact pattern of energy, say a wave, that is constant and unchanging. It means to take that signal and add onto it where the thing you're adding onto it, the changes you're introducing to it, represent information, the information that you want to transfer from one device to another. So what you're doing, and again, there's a lot of electronics under the hood that make this work. That's not as important as understanding the concept. What you're doing is taking a device called a modulator demodulator, attaching it to your computer, and your computer will feed it the information it wants to send to another computer. That modem will output a stable known signal. And here's what I mean by stable. It's unvarying. If it's a wave, high, low, high, low, it does not change. And what I mean by known is the destination computer has a device on it, another modem that knows the exact stable pattern that it's going to receive. And that stable pattern acts as a carrier. They call it a carrier wave because it's a wave form in the way the energy behaves. But what this carrier wave does is it carries information by being modulated in accordance with that information. Now, all this sounds kind of odd, I know, but this is what happens. Data goes from the computer into the modem. The modem sends out a signal, which is two things put together. That stable signal I've been talking about, along with changes to that signal that represent the data the computer gave it. There might be slight variations while the overall pattern goes up and down. That signal, that carrier wave, arrives at the modem on the other computer that needs that information. That computer, knowing what the stable part of the signal it received is supposed to be, can literally subtract that part of it out and only look at the tiny little variations in what that carrier wave was. And the computer, the modem actually, knows that those variations represent the data it's meant to receive. Now there's a lot of nitty gritty details, like I said, in terms of the electronics of how it works and what those variations that happen in the carrier wave might be in order to represent information. That's the subject for another time. But for now, just know that a modem operates in both directions. It can take in information and modulate a carrier wave, then send that information to another modem. It'll take in that information from the other side, if you will, and it'll demodulate it. It'll extract out only the significant part, which is what changed to the carrier wave. So there you have modems, an electronic device used in the transfer of information between computers.